Hey guys, I'm Chad Hoover and welcome to today's video where I'm going to talk to you about the ultimate kayak fishing adventure rig. All right, so the foundation of my adventure rig is obviously my Ram 1500. I'm not going to talk about the modifications to it other than my rack system today. We'll do that in another video. But the, the foundation of my adventure system and the one that I use on every trip, not every trip am I going to take the trailer, okay? And not every trip am I going to take multiple kayaks. I'm not always going to take the tent. If I do, I can throw it on this rack as well. But the foundation of my outdoor adventure experiences uh, is this Overland Rack series from DZ. And these guys have made this really simple. What you do is you start off by grabbing two aluminum cab racks, okay? From there, you tie the system together with these Overland side rails. The next thing that you do is you top it off with a topper, okay? For me, I actually just use more side rails on the top and I use two bars. You can add four or five or six bars and actually create a platform, or you can just put a couple bars on there. I like these load stops for hanging gear on. I like for putting them inside the, the bed, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, but I really love this Overland Adventure Rack. There's a couple reasons why. One, it's rock solid. It's bulletproof. It's made in America. It is unbelievably versatile. In other words, with this Molly system, I can attach my shovel. I can attach my water tanks to carry extra water for the shower, for rinsing gear down, for drinking water. Coming on around the back, I can put my shovel in here for digging out. When I don't have my traction boards on top of the trailer, I actually just mount them to the bottom of this bar system or right on top in one of the blank spaces. So then I've got my traction boards with me. I've got my tow and recovery straps in the back. So I actually can go off road, not one of those parking lot lifted trucks, but one of those off-road lifted trucks. Coming on around to this side, I got my water port for rinsing my gear down, taking showers, and that easily mounts to the Molly system with that mount. You just drop it on there. And for long trips, I'll take this and throw it in the back of the truck or in my DZ Blue Label box. And for short trips, I just leave it right there. I've got my fuel tanks for running a generator, for not having to run back to the gas station, uh, and for having fuel for whatever need you might have finding somebody else run out of gas on the side of the road or just extending the distance that you can go to your adventure. So that's the foundation of my adventure rig. I can get two kayaks on top of here. Uh, I've got my awning so that when I'm out there on those hot days, I've got the ability to get out of the sun. And that's it guys, that's the foundation. So again, three or four easy steps. Select your aluminum rack, tie it all together with your sidebars, select your topper and then from there, you can decide what mounts you want to put on it. Do you want to put extra hand grabs? I love these hand grabs for stepping on the hex bars on the tire, grabbing the hand grab and pulling myself to the top of the truck. I love it when I need to access the top of the truck to simply step on my DZ step, grab that handle, pull myself up, and then I've got the ability to easily tie down, adjust the kayaks, and especially when there's multiple kayaks on there and you got to fish the strap between them and it's just super easy to get up and to get down. Um, again, I talked about this a little bit earlier. I really like having these DZ hex bars on the inside. I can either use these pivoting tie downs or I can take these load stops, slide them into the slot, push all my gear forward, put a strap across there. I don't have to worry about my gear shifting when I'm going off road. I don't have to worry about it sliding around, hitting a uh, hitting the brakes at a stoplight and it coming forward and hitting the back of the cab and busting my window out. So that's the foundation of my adventure system. I love having, you know, the flexibility to change things around. One thing that I can tell you that you gotta have if you're going off road, off the grid, or if you're traveling to places then you're gonna have to do any type of repairs is, a really good box of tools. So I like protecting my tools. I've had a number of toolboxes over the years that are either too heavy to move around or they're too flimsy and they break. This DZ Poly series of boxes is bulletproof. You can lock them up. Uh, I don't normally put individual locks on them. What I do is I run the cable locks and fish it through all the holes, tie them into my Yeti loadout boxes, lock them all together, and then I can lock them to my rack or 
I can lock them to my hex bars on the inside for managing my load. Again, 90% of criminals or crooks are lazy. So if they simply see some form of work that they're gonna have to do to steal your gear, that's all the deterrent you need. But that's the adventure rack on my truck. And again, I've got a system where I load everything up. I use my hex rails on the inside to secure everything, whether I'm taking one box or filling the whole back of the truck up. I've got my high lift jack and all my accessories right on my adventure rack. And if I just stopped right here, that's all I would really need to go on most adventures, even if I was taking another person. But when we go this way, I'm gonna show you something that I'm super proud of. And I can't thank Denny from On The Water Innovations enough for building this unbelievable ultimate kayak fishing adventure trailer. Now, this thing is the second generation. We did a trailer before, and I went out, and my job was to go out and break it. Let's just be honest. And we figured out we needed to beef up the center tube to carry the weight of the DZ box and the stuff that I put in it. And we also came up with a few ideas that once we thought of them, we just had to have them. So the foundation for this trailer is a steel frame, three inch, two inch accessory tubing, and it has so far been unbelievably rock solid now i chose to go with this blue label dz box and the reason that i chose to go with this blue label dz box is i'm going to have depth finders in there i'm going to have power poles i'm going to have my expensive swim baits and this isn't one of those boxes you can just slide a screwdriver in there and pop the lid on like most of the toolboxes that i've owned over the years you know this is uh, the Yeti cooler of toolboxes, if you will. This thing is bulletproof. You might be able to pop this thing open with a screwdriver, but it's got oversized latches. They're down inside recess, so you can't get inside to pop them. It's lockable on both sides. So again, you might be able to pop this thing open with a screwdriver, but you better bring a big old screwdriver because it's gonna take a minute. And again, when somebody sees how hard this is, how durable this thing is, and how rock solid it is, they're probably gonna leave your gear alone. Now, this box is gonna cost you a little bit more. I pay for quality and I pay for stuff that's made in America where I can. This box is made in America's heartland. It's bulletproof and I look at it like it's an insurance policy for protecting all of my other valuable gear. So I'm gonna spend a little bit more to get that blue label box. Coming on around, as you'll see, these oversized tubes, they pull double duty. One, they're great advertising. They show off kayak bass fishing. They match the truck so that the whole system ties together and just looks sexy rolling down the road. I mean, as if I needed to look any sexier. I mean, let's let's be honest. Y'all comment below and tell me if you like the whole match and wrap thing or if it's too much. Comment below. All right. So the thing that we just had to do, and this was the foundation for the rebuild of the second trailer, is that when we came up with this idea for doing this drawer, for putting your gear in, um, we just had to do it and I had to have it. So this right here might be the coolest thing on this trailer. But what I can do in, with this is I can put my wet gear in there, I can put my boots in there, I can put my waders, my PFD if it's wet, anything that I wanna dry or anything that's oversized, I can throw inside of here. And when I get ready to get on the road, I throw all that stuff down inside there, I grab my lock, I don't know where I put the lock. Anyway, I grabbed the lock, I locked that up, locked this, and all of my gear is protected. So that drawer is pretty dang on cool. He also rigged this thing with outriggers that allows me to stabilize this in um, uh, uneven ground or to level the trailer or to get rid of the wobble. I mean, I'm a big dude. You put my um, 280 plus pounds up that high, it's gonna wobble. So Denny, Went the extra mile to hook this up where I can uh, level the trailer. And with the front tongue, I can actually jack the whole trailer off the ground and level it, which is a really cool feature. But these rod tubes don't just look good and they don't just have the wrap on them. You also have uh, the ability to put your fishing rods inside there, which I have all my fishing rods in there except the ones that I've already thrown on the kayak. I can carry my power pole. I can carry anything that's oversized. And in fact, to some trade shows, I roll a bunch of banners up and stick them inside there and then I have everything I need. I really like these CVT tent bags that come out of the tent. You can just clip them right into the grate. And then stay right there, I wanna show you a cool feature. Minimalist, I really love this serrated step by DZ. Now, if I'm not towing a trailer, I'll throw this in my hitch. 
because it's an easy step. It's not gonna slip when it's your, foot, your boots are wet, or your feet are muddy. But I also can plug it in right here. And then when I'm off-road, I step on this, step on the rod tube, and I can go into the side of the tent and I don't even need a ladder. So if you're looking for an ultimate step, if you don't tow a trailer, you can put this in from the side, you can put it in from the back. This thing right here is bulletproof. Now, I will warn you, this thing will take some skin off when you walk around the hitch if you're not very careful. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you for an example. And this is not to deter you from buying this rated step. I think it's the best step on the market. I'm just gonna let you know that if you're not being real careful, it'll, uh, it'll eat a little bit of skin right there. So just be careful when you're, uh, when you're using that hitch step. And I would put something in front of it like a cooler at night <laughs> when you're getting up at the campsite in the morning and you're walking around you're not quite awake yet it'll just uh it'll chew up a little bit of skin now coming on up here i just want to say the other thing that i can do and it doesn't work as well for the situation where i want my tent to where i can take my photos out the back of the waterfront property but what's really cool about this tent and the other tent is i can actually flip it around the other way to where it opens this way and then I have a front porch. I step up here on this tube up onto my box and I have the ability when I wake up in the morning to op open the hatch, swing my feet out, set my feet down, and then I have the view. Now, when I keep it hooked up to the truck, I obviously don't do that. But again, it just shows you the versatility of the system, shows you the versatility of the design. So that is my ultimate kayak fishing adventure setup overland adventure rig the foundation of all of this are my dz accessories got to thank dz for all of their support uh, over the years i use dz because it just works for me dz complements my other uh, endeavors very well like this um, on the waters adventure trailer I, I don't think this trailer has that mm to it without the dz box where i can lock all my gear up the other thing that's cool about this system is I am always ready to go. I pull up and hook up and I'm on the road. Keep a kayak on top of the truck, I'm ready to go. Keep a couple rods in the passenger seat, keep the rest of them in your rod tubes. You never have to get ready to go fishing because you're always ready to go fishing. Love y'all, see you in the next video. Smash that thumbs up button. Comment below if there's something that you wanted to see more of that I left out. But anyway, love y'all, see you in the next video.